Now, is it possible that Shane Gillis, the popular comedian, was in on this Trump so-called assassination attempt? Was this comedian in on it? Before you say yes or no, just let's look at the evidence. This was sent to me by Hilly. Thank you, Hilly, for bringing this to my attention. This was published a few days ago. It premiered on July 16, but it was recorded, they say, on the 8th of July. So this is five days before the event, the Donald Trump supposed assassination attempt. This is a show called Kill Tony, which I'm sure most of you have heard of. If you haven't heard of it, a bunch of so-called comedians sit around and whatever. Anyway, the point is most people, most young people, have heard of Shane Gillis at least. He's the one playing Donald Trump. Now take a look at this. All right, that's my time. Thank you very much. Okay, so this guy has just finished his one minute or two minute set. And now these guys are going to roast him, supposedly. Now take a listen to this. Finds Kim with a new minute 20. And a special, very presidential joke you did. So he made a joke about how, about Trump and Biden. Anyway, what's the next thing that this guy, uh, this Hinchcliffe or Rockcliffe, whatever his name is, what's the next thing he says? Um, so you have a gun. Yes, AR. So that was one of his jokes during his set that he just bought a gun. Now listen to this. 15, I'm going to get a new, another one. A little concealed carry so I can walk around 6th Street. I do firmly believe every autistic man should own. <laughs> Let's get this guy a bump stock, why not? <laughs> so obviously for this particular episode, Shane Gillis is impersonating Trump. I think he's actually pretty good at impersonating Trump, I have to say. That's quite a talent. But now listen to this next part. Is that your first gun in AR? Oh yeah, and this guy, if you're annoyed about his laughter, he does that, apparently. He just does that on every show he's on. He just has this stupid fake... I don't know how people can put up with this. I don't know how people can listen to this in any way. Right, it's not about that. So listen to this. 15. This is my second. I have a Shadow Systems MR920L. Jesus uh, Christ. When they say it like that, you know they mean business. And <laughs> if you're at the pits, Buck, <laughs> fuck. Okay, so he just said, if you're at the pits... If you're at the pits, what? It sounded like he was going to say, if you're at the Pittsburgh. So they're joking about having guns. And now the guy playing Donald Trump is saying, if they know the names of their guns, the models or whatever, you know they mean business. Listen to this part again, okay? Listen to this. The systems MR920L. Jesus uh, Christ. When they say it like that, you know they mean business. And <laughs> if you're at the Pittsburgh, <laughs> fuck. If you're at the pits, the pits what? It sounds like he was going to say Pittsburgh. Now, let's take a look at this event, this, assess this attempted assassination of Donald Trump which supposedly happened at a campaign rally near Butler, Pennsylvania. Do you happen to know where Butler, Pennsylvania is? I'm no expert on American geography, but it turns out that Butler and Pittsburgh, so where this shooting supposedly happened, and Pitts, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, oh shit, whatever. Yeah, Butler, Pittsburgh, how far away are they from each other? 40 miles. 40 miles away from one another. So, so in other words, this is where the event happens, where Trump was supposedly shot. This is Pittsburgh, the city in Pennsylvania. This was recorded supposedly on the 8th of July. And the event was, of course, the 13th of July, five days later. With that context, let's just listen to this one more time. Shadow Systems MR920L. Jesus uh, Christ. When they say it like that, you know they mean business. And <laughs> if you're at the Pittsburgh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> This guy, how can people... Anyway, so, uh, what's your opinion, guys? What do you think about this? Was Shane Gillis in on it? Has he? Is he part of the predictive programming? I know a lot of you guys believe in predictive programming. You see, it, has someone said to Shane Gillis, listen, bro, when you're doing your impersonation of Trump, there's going to be a... We've got this guy telling jokes about guns. Once he tells a joke about guns, we want you to make a joke about how autistic people... Because remember, that's another thing he said. He said like, 10 seconds before, this is like... I think autistic people should have guns. Okay, that was his joke. And he says, if they know the models of the guns, you know they mean business. And if anybody's near the Pittsburgh, pits, and he couldn't even say it. And then all these guys started laughing as well. Are they all in on it? Let me know in the comment section below. Are they all in on it? Or is there some other explanation? Thanks once again to Hilly for bringing this to my attention. Now, if you're into these kinds of topics, I'm going to put a link in the comment section below. Go and check out Tim Osman's 11 Trump shooting and predictive programming examples. I recommend you go and check this out if you're interested in this topic. There was one there that I didn't know about. 
this Fallout episode where it turns out there is a football character with a little drop of blood. Let's zoom in there for those of you watching at home. At a similar area to where Trump was supposedly hit. And some people say that this kind of looks like, this little character looks like Donald Trump. Now, some people say, oh, that's just a stretch or that's just a coincidence. But okay, whatever. I went and watched the episode of Fallout in question. It's season one, episode five. It's called The Past. It's only about a 40 minute episode because I wanted to see, okay, what's the context of this blood on the football character thing? So I went and watched the episode and what I discovered shook me to the depths of my miserable soul. So I wrote a 5,000 word article with 27 screenshots from the episode going through a bunch of remarkable so-called coincidences that I think needs to be seen to be believed. So I'll link to that in the show notes below as well. But that is just for the members of johnlebond.com. It took me about 10 hours to put that together. So only people who support what I do can see that article. But if you're not a member of johnlebond.com, go and check this out. This is a very well-written thing, I think, by Tim Osman. Top 11 Trump shooting predictive programming examples. Link to that will also be in the comment section below. And let me know this uh, gag. Let's watch it one more time. Do you believe that this guy, Shane Gillis, very popular comedian, very popular, do you think someone has said to him, hey, listen, bro, there's something, something big is going to go down soon near Pittsburgh. Make a joke about it. Tell me. And should own. <laughs> Let's get this guy a bomb stock. Why not? <laughs> is that your first gun in AR-15? It's my second. I have a Shadow Systems MR920L. Jesus uh, Christ. <laughs> when they say it like that, you know they mean business. And if you're at the Pittsburgh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> These are all stories, man. Don't you get it? Was that a real question, or was that soundboard? Well, how old is your house? What year was it built? Yeah. Like, they'll lead us off on a merry dance, mate. We're halfway down the garden path already. And you're a babbler, and you're an antichrist. Your dad's been shit. Jan Eric's been boring us to shit for about 25 minutes. So he owes you money. I'm not an expert, and we're not going to get into... It's this or that. You should be ashamed, and I won't forget the horrible thing you just told me. Just deal with it, man. Oh my god, I would probably punch your lights out. No, 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 no. When I come here and get <laughs> insulted by a guy like you, it's like, do you know what I've done in radio? When they say it like that, you know they mean business, and if you're at the Pittsburgh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs>